Hi guys and welcome back to another show of Keto in the Kitchen with Jasmine. Today what we're going to be filming is Keto Camping Tips and this is from a very good source and the source is the source is called Keto Camping and it's uh, by Ruled Me and it's Keto Camping and Hiking. It's a complete guide to everything you wanted to know about keeping keto. And I posted the link in the description, in the description box down below. So what you can do is you can check that out for yourself to see everything that they have mentioned. And as you can see, we are filming in a classic restoration shop today. So one thing I wanted to say is that you can still reach your goals while you're camping and still keep keto and still keep on your diet as long or provided that you bring everything that you need. So if it's unsalted butter, if it's olive oil or anything, you just package everything separately that would go with each other, like dry goods go with dry goods or whatnot. And, you know, of course, bring like a cooler and put everything in the cooler. And that way you can still reach your goals and stay organized. Bring tin foil, everything you're going to need. Uh, for example, I have a lot of iron, cast iron skillets that I'm going to be using in upcoming videos. And those are really going to help along with stainless steel pots and pans. You don't want to put anything on a grill that obviously is going to burn or the handle is going to burn or anything like that. And also pre-plan your meals as far as how active you're going to be. So if you're going to be a lot more active and you know that you're diabetic and that you're to include a little bit of carbs so that your body burns the carbs for fuel and also fat for fuel as opposed to muscle, you can do that also. Um, you just want to pre-plan your meals and plan around everything. If you're going to be a little less active, you're not going to want as many um, low processed or simple carbs. You're going to want to keep everything complex carbohydrates like fruits and vegetables. Of course, prior to camping and backpacking and hiking, you always want to talk to your doctor first, especially if you're a diabetic, just to see what they would recommend and suggest because every diabetic situation is different. And so it's extremely important that you're working with your doctor and letting him know what your or her what your plans are. So one of the first things that I wanted to talk about was the uh, healthy keto um, camping food list that I bring with me when I'm camping. And these foods would include low carb foods such as fruits, vegetables, fresh or vacuum packed meats, deli meats, um, canned meats, pouch meats like tuna fish or chicken that you find in the, uh, the fish and meat section, uh, meat sticks, smoked and fresh caught fish. It's always great to eat fresh caught fish. Also eggs and dairy. They have sugar for yogurt like o Oko's. I think that's how you say it. Um, but it's Greek yogurt. It's really good. It's sugar-free. Um, they probably have other sugar-free brands too that I'm not familiar with. They also have low-carb tortillas and keto condiments like sugar-free ketchup and barbecue sauces, keto bread. I wish I had more of a variety of keto bread. Um, they do have keto buns. They also have keto hot dog buns. Oatmeal is also another great breakfast food. Uh, you can take pork rinds if you like pork rinds. I don't really um, get into that. You can also eat olives. Um, you can take pickles or uh, some of the oils you want to take the fats are like olive oil, coconut oil, unsalted butter, because you can always add salt to it later, like sea salt, um, if your doctor recommends it. I don't know. Another good thing is seed crackers, water crackers, and other low-carb crackers. Um, and I like to pair that with a little bit of borzine cheese because it's good for your body, like I said, to eat the dairy products and the fats that's in that. So if you go for like a low fat, your body isn't really getting what it needs to stay in ketosis. So you're going to want to make sure um, that you get back into that, um, that state. So to do that, you have to maintain a high fat diet on this, like high complex carbohydrates, but also high fat. So that what's happening is your body's actually burning the fat for fuel since it can't use the glucose. Um, another thing is homemade granola and nuts and seeds, canned coconut milk, if you like that for coconut or for coffee or tea or anything. And if you like dark chocolate, you can always get sugar-free dark chocolate or some other form of sugar-free candy. Homemade protein bars are always good. 
I'll probably have some recipes coming out about that pretty soon. Um, for drinks, I like a lot of water. I always drink a lot of water. Um, I drink sugar-free um, Gatorade because I like to get the electrolytes, especially when I need it. Other sugar-free beverages, I try not to do too much sugar-free soda. Um, juice alternatives, uh, coffee. So you wouldn't do juice, fruit, uh, fruit juice per se, but there are other things that you can drink um, in accordance to that. Coffee, tea, those are other beverages. And then, of course, for those who do drink a little bit of alcohol, there's keto-free friendly alcohol that you can drink, like wines or gin or... I think vodka might be one of those, maybe even tequila or something like that. There's also a really neat uh, trick or tip that you can use, which is a keto calculator. And what the calculator does is it helps you to calculate how much you should eat in a day. Like your, por I think it does your portion sizes, but I'm not sure about that. So don't quote me on it because I haven't started using it yet. So these are all really great tips and tricks. And I just wanted to tell you guys about it. And this is just going to be a short video today, and I'll get into more of the recipe videos later. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Have a great day.